Hi Bobcats, this is Miss Lee, and today we're going to talk about box plots, also called or also known as box and whiskers plot. For some data distributions, you will need more information about the center of the data than just the measures of central tendency. A box plot is a way of displaying the data distribution based on a five number summary. Okay, these are the five components of a box plot. As we're going through, make sure you fill in your notes. You will also need to label the box plot example at the bottom. Okay, the first data component is the minimum, also called the lower extreme. This is the smallest data point in a set of data. So on your box plot, this point right here is the minimum or the lower extreme. The maximum or upper extreme will be the largest data point in a set of data. And here is the maximum point or the upper extreme. Then what we have what we call quartiles. They're values that divide the data set into four equal parts. The first quartile, also known as Q1, is the median of the lower half of the data set. And this would be your quartile one. You see you've got this box, quartile one, the first quartile is the left side of your box. The second quartile, known as Q2, is the median of all the data. So a lot of times it's called Q2, second quartile, but it's the line that's inside of the box. It's also just called median, the median. And I think that you will actually see it referred to as the median more often than you will quartile two, but you need to know that it's both. And then the third quartile, Q3, is going to be the median of the upper half of the data set. And this is your quartile three right here. You can't see it, can you? Hold on, let me take off my median. Here's your quartile three. It is the right side of the box. So these are the five data components that you need to know anytime you're looking at a box plot or you want to make a box plot. So let's practice. We're going to find our quartiles. Okay, the first thing you have to do, here's your data set, is you want to order the data set from least to greatest. Just like we did when we found the me median, the data set has to be from least to greatest. So let's go ahead and order them. And now you're ready to find the median, which is quartile two, the middle of the data. And this is just like normal. You can cross off the low, high, low, high, low, high until you get to the middle number. Or you can think of this as, <coughs> excuse me, as looking how many pieces of data are there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there's nine. And if we split it in half, that means we're going to have four in the lower half, four in the upper half, and 87 is the middle number. So 87 is our median. Okay, then we want to find the median of the lower half of the data. So that means all of the data that's to the left of the median, we want to find the middle number of this data. Now as you'll notice, there's four numbers. That means the median is going to fall in between the 41 and the 65. So to find what the median of those two numbers are, we just add them up and divide by two. So 41 plus 65 is 106. Divide 106 by two and we get 53. So the median of this lower half is 53. This is our quartile one. Then to find the quartile three, we wanna find the median of the upper half of our data. So the upper half of the data is the data that's larger than the 87. And again, we have four data pieces, so the median falls in between the two 91s. And the only thing that's going to be halfway between 91 is 91. And we can show that by adding them together. We get 182, divide 182 by 2, and it gives us the 91. So we can fill in our quartiles. Quartile 1 is the median of the lower data half, which is 53. Quartile 2 is the actual median of the data, which we found to be 87. And quartile 3 is the median or the middle number of the upper half of our data, which was 91. 
Let's do another one. All right, again, we start off. Here's our data set. We want to order from least to greatest. How many pieces in our data set? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's 10. And if we divide 10 by 2, we get 5. So to find the median, this is our lower, this is our upper. The median is going to be halfway between 72 and 78. There's not a number here in the middle, so we have to find that number. So add them together. 72 plus 78 is 150. Divide 150 by 2, and we get 75. So the median is 75. The median is also our Q2, so we can go ahead and label that. To find our Q1, Q1 is going to be the median of the lower half of the data. Luckily, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there's 5 numbers, so we can easily find the median, which is going to be 42. This is quartile 1, Q1, our first quartile. Now we already have our upper half of our data here. We want to find the median of that, and it's going to be 89. So this is our quartile 3, 89. I find that it's always easiest to put a box around the upper and the lower half of your data. And if there's a number in the middle, then that's going to be the median, or the quartile 2. If there is no number in the middle, like here, then you have to find the mean of the two numbers. You're going to find the middle number, and then that becomes your quartile 2.